Welcome everyone. Uh, in today's video, we are going to be working with lights in Godot 4. So the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to start right away. I'm going to be adding in a uh, point light 2D, not direction of two light. Point light 2D is the exact same from Godot 3. So as you can see, there's a texture. I'm just going to be using a giant moonlight. Um, I'll be adding this in the description below. If you, uh, Actually, won't, I won't. I'll probably upload the uh, file folder into GitHub and then I'll upload that. Um, if not, it's pretty easy to actually find this. Um, this moonlight, it's just a white light that kind of denses out into the middle. Um, and you can find it really easily anywhere. So um, now that we have a light, let's add it into the middle and let's put it down just a bit and let's put it in the middle and play and see what happens. Nothing. So the reason nothing happens is because we have we have a light and it works. In fact, it's already enabled. The text texture scale is one, that's fine. Um, we can go down to not range. Oh, there it is, energy. Energy is one, we can increase it or decrease it, nothing happens. However, the reason this is happening is because, let me actually double check one thing, uh, because the layer is zero, or uh, it was negative 100. So in order for our light to pop up, the reason I'm doing this on our layered background here is because I've come across this problem a lot of times, and hopefully you will come across this problem and get very frustrated. This took me a very long time to figure out in the beginning. The reason is because the layer is too far back and the light is like in the front kind of, I think. I'm, I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure why that is that happening, but that's how you fix it. So now we have a light and you can kind of move it around. And as you can see, our light is now affecting things. So now we have light inside our game. So now if I play, there'll be a light right there and it'll always light up that one area. So as things move, it should start to light up other things. Oh no, sorry, I think it should be moving. No, it's not. Sorry, it's still right there, I believe, pretty sure. So yeah, there you go. Um, now, how the question is, how do I take this light and move it inside of our things? Well, that's pretty easy, actually. What we can do is just pop that in. Right, so now it'll move with our uh, big planet. So let's actually make it move with our small planet. So put it in there, and then we'll take this guy, and we'll put one, whoops. I'm gonna take this guy and we're gonna pop it up there. And so now you can kind of just have the lights all over the system. Whoops. And duplicate them as many times as you want. If I can move it, please. There we go. I'm just gonna do that to move it, kind of a little hack. I'll actually move it properly. There we go. And make this one a little bigger. Here we go. And so now when I play, it's a bit hard to see, but now we have light moving with our planets, which is pretty cool. And in a second, it'll duplicate and the lights should be duplicated as well. Hopefully, if it doesn't, then that'll be a problem for me at least. Ah, there we go, there's the lights. Yeah, so they duplicate as well. So the lights duplicate, that's awesome. Um, the only issue is for this, the reason it doesn't duplicate right away is because now you also have to do the exact same thing. And actually, what we can do to make this easy is just select all three of these, duplicate them all, and we're just going to move them to the right on top of these guys. So now it'll duplicate on the third frame, essentially. All right, so now let's take a look on how to actually make it kind of animated and make it look a bit nicer. Um, because now this is what we have. We have animated lights around our planets, and it'll duplicate really nicely. Um, in fact, you can go into each light here. And what we can do is we can transform it a little bit. Let's say zero point, let's do one five. Yeah, that's, I think one five is fine. We'll do 0 0.13. So now the light is a lot bigger and it affects the area a bit more. Um, now let's actually animate these things. So what can we animate? Well, it's actually pretty interesting. You can animate at literally anything inside the lights. So let's select the one light for now. And let's look at the transform. So what we can actually do is make the light kind of shine in and out, kind of like a, a light bulb almost, right? I would probably add this to a torch effect. This is a very nice torch effect, but let's kind of look at how we would do that. So here we have the, the top scale. Now we're gonna have at point one, we're gonna do half of that. So let's actually just half it and then key that. And then we'll make this two seconds long. And then let's times two that again. 
and key that. So now it should look like this. And it'll keep going. So now let's default this and play. So now you can see this one right here is kind of playing that. I have to play it on loop. So in our animation, we loop it. So now it'll kind of dim in and dim out. So now I have a pretty cool animation. The only downside to this, obviously, as you might be able to tell, is we have to do this for each one. Um, it might be easier to do this with code because then you can for loop through all of them. Um, you can use tweens, or you can just manually do this for each uh, light. Um, but yeah, so that's an option. I don't think you can select more than one and then, can you? No, you can't. So yeah, you'd have to manually do it in animation player, but that's how you do an animation player. I'm not gonna show you how to do it in tween. Hopefully you can figure that out. Um, but one last thing I wanted to show in our background um, that helps kind of give depth to our game is our canvas modulate. So this is a canvas modulate for our entire screen. Um, as you can see, it's not even, I think in good of four, it's no longer something that you drag. It's just there. So now we have a white background kind of, or canvas. This is just default. This is like, everything is normal, nothing changed. This is like normal brightness. But if I start to change things, the brightness or the modulate of things kind of changes. So I've changed everything to black. As you can see, this is how we add darkness to our game. So now the only thing that shows up is our light. So now we only see the light. So let's actually change this to, let's say, 150, 150, 150, except the first one is 250, 250, there we go. And now it's a little darker. Maybe it's a bit hard to see, but yeah, actually it is a bit hard to see. Let's make it a bit darker. Let's just do that. There we go. So now it's a lot darker and we have a little light. And so now, now you can see as the light kind of passes the planets, you can see it a bit more clearly. And so this kind of gives a bit more depth to your game. So this is how I usually create my games. Um, I'll usually use a bit of light, uh, canvas modulate, and parallax background. This is how I give life to my backgrounds in general. And funnily enough, this is usually a good main menu. It seems like a lot of work for a good a main menu, but uh, it's pretty nice. So as you can see the background, it, it just looks a lot nicer and it feels more alive. So hopefully you guys learned something from this kind of mini background series that I did. Um, it's kind of unintended. I kind of just wanted to introduce a few things. Um, I kind of did this in my recent um, game jam, you can say, against uh, the Unity thing. Um, so I thought it was kind of interesting that I could do that really quickly and just maybe I could show it in a video. So, um, and I think this would have helped me when I started, um, especially with the layer thing. So the layer thing is really annoying um, when it comes to lights. If you have layers, it becomes a bit weird with lighting. So you have to make sure you don't mess that up. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys learned something. Um, I hope you like the video. I hope you subscribe, um, like, comment, share, blah, 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 all that stuff. Um, I have the Discord link in the description again. Um, join it if you guys want to learn more. Uh, join my community. Um, I have also Patreon uh, if you guys want to pledge to that. You totally don't have to. I almost never really post anything. It's just to support me, basically, um, financially, I guess, because um, I don't really do get anything out of this. I'm just kind of doing it for fun, and hopefully I can build a nice community with you guys. So uh, hopefully you guys can join our Discord. Even if you're not a Godot user, join our Discord. Yeah, you weird Unity users. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.